we should follow Guru Parampara. Now, in all respect, have your Guru or Param Guru or Dada Guru has kept this? Any of one? <laughs> oh, we should try. No? If a Guru has told that you should keep, or he has kept your God, Param Guru, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhaktivedan Swami Maharaj, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Guru Poshan, Hathya. <laughs> we should try to. Sadhavritti. Sadhavritti. Wow. Very small. <clears throat> Don't be upset by my. I'm not criticizing. <laughs>
<laughs> we are now discussing about Ragnarananda Sangha. First log. Briefly, we have uh, explained briefly. Now, Examples I told yesterday to be why, how Radha is Pane Mahima, and for this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Raya Ramanan to come to Gam, uh, Puri and they will all test all these things. In the last, he resigned from his post and he came. So, in Chaitanya Chaitamrits, in Swarup of Karcha, Karcha are shlokas. What they realized with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they used to write in their culture with their own slopes. Raghunath Goswami had also culture. How he was burdened by brought upon the guidance of Sarukhani and what uh, Sarup Damodar used to hear from Mahaprabhu and he used to tell him. So he has also Karcha. Both combined or oh, each other. So Radhaya Prane Mahima Kirtrisha Va Ameyai Va Swadva Jenadva Madurga Kirtrisha Va Madhiya Shokhan Chasya Madan Bhavata Kirtrisha Vetti Lobha Tadbhavadya samajani sachi garbha sindhu dhamma. Oh, yes, you can explain. Amen. First of all, I'm offering my humble dandavat pranams, my shraddha pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev Nityalila Pravishna Om Vishnu Pad Asko Tarasata Sri Srimad A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Shiva Prabhupada. And secondly, my equal dandavat pranams and shraddha pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Siksha Gurudevs, Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Goswami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and to all of my Rupanuga Guru Varga, all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. <coughs> so Srila Gurudev has been expounding for the past two days on Sri Rai Ramananda Samvad in which he has quoted the first verse of that chapter 8 of Madhyalila, which actually encompasses the entire conceptions that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu placed within the heart of Roy Ramananda, and by which he himself was able to hear this conversation and gain new enlightenment within his heart 
the beautiful examples being given yesterday of the cloud in the ocean and the pearls within the shell of the oyster and the Swati Nakshatra, the constellation. Very beautiful description Srila Gurudev has given. And now Srila Gurudev is referring to the Kadachas, the shloka of Srila Surup Damodar Goswami, which is quoted by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami in the beginning of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita to explain the confidential reasons why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world. In the third and fourth chapters of Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila, uh, Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami has explained both the external reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance in this world and also his internal reasons or his primary reasons. And this shloka which Srila Gurudev has quoted, uh, which we will explain, this is telling the three most confidential reasons why Sri Krishna himself desired to appear in the womb of Mother Sachi and descend in this world in his beautiful golden form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So here it is described, Sri Radhaya Pranaya Mahima Kidrishovanayaiva Svadyo Yena Bhuta Madhurima Kidrisho Va Madhya Sokyam Chasyam Mad Anubhavata Kitrisham Veti Lobhat Tad Bhavadya Samajani Sachi Garva Sindho Harindhu. So here Sri the first line is telling Sri Radhaya Mahima Kidrisho Vanayaiva. He wanted to understand Krishna because he is the Vishaya Tattva Bhagavan, which means he is the object of every everyone's praying. He is the object. And from that position of the Vishaya Tattva, from the position of the object, he is tasting everyone's praying. But when Krishna witnessed the transcendental features and symptoms which are shown by Srimati Radharani, in her love for him, by which she tastes the highest uh, level of Mahabhav Prem and the highest levels within Mahabhav. So Krishna himself became very curious to understand because he noticed that Srimati Radharani, her love is unlimited, expanding in all directions. There is no limit whatsoever to her praying for me. What is the greatness of that praying, the mahima, uh, the topmost limit of that praying. Krishna himself wanted to understand this. But actually it is not possible for him to understand from his own position of being Vishay Tattva Bhagavan. Therefore, uh, he desired, this was his first desire, he desired to take the position of Srimati Radharani herself and thus through taking her position, ex experiencing her own bhavs, in this way he would be able to taste her praying. Secondly, Swadhyo yen adbhuta madhurima kidrisho va madhya Then he wanted to understand what is the madhurima, the sweetness that she tastes through her transcendental love for him. Because Sri Krishna uh, is the very Bhagavan Swayam and the Avatari. He is the original Supreme Personality of Godhead from whom all other incarnations and expansions emanate. And He is the topmost absolute truth. So within Him there is the topmost qualities compared to all other expansions, expansions of His own Self. And specifically, Sri Krishna has four qualities which are not found in any other incarnation. Four madhurimas. These are sweetnesses. His uh, venu madhuri. How Sri Krishna plays his beautiful <coughs> venu, his flute, and attracts the hearts of all living beings throughout the entire creation. Even the inanimate objects are attracted by the sweetness of the sound of Krishna's flute. Venu madhuri. Leela madhuri. He engages in his sweet pastimes, encompassing his ages of childhood, boyhood, youth, Kishore, Balya, Pauganda. And in this way, 
Krishna ex uh, manifests so many beautiful, sweet pastimes in Braja and in no other incarnation and in no other dham does the Supreme Lord uh, manifest such beautiful pastimes. Then, uh, Lila, uh, Rupa Madhuri, Krishna's transcendental beautiful form with all of his characteristics and qualities, uh, his beautiful lotus petal eyes, his transcendental body, is the very embodiment of sweetness. And all of his associates, all of his associates have Prem Madhuri. They're completely surrounding Krishna with the topmost level of Prem, and particularly coming into the level of Madhurya Prem, which the Braja Gopis taste and experience in their love for Krishna. So through these four sweetnesses, through these four madhurimas, these qualities of Krishna, he inundates the hearts of his braj bhaktas, and eternally they relish his transcendental qualities and his sweetness. But amongst them, none of them can relish and taste the sweetness of Krishna, of that of, compared to Srimati Radharani. And Srimati Radharani, she is the ashrai tattva, the very shelter or the very abode of all praying. She is the very Swarup Shakti potency of Krishna. There is the Sri Krishna himself who is the absolute truth and Sri Krishna Shakti. Together they comprise the one absolute truth. So Srimati Radhika is that Swarup Shakti, that Purna Shakti completely embodied uh, through the potency of Vladini, very transcendental pleasure potency. Srimati Radhika. Uh, tastes the transcendental brain of Krishna and sweetness of Krishna to the highest level beyond anyone else. And when Krishna notices this, then he becomes also very curious to understand how she is tasting my sweetness. He notices that all living beings are tasting his sweetness, but he himself is enamored by the fact that Srimati Radhika is tasting unlimitedly. Uh, and finally, Sokyam chasyam mad anubhavata kidrisham veti lobhat. What kind of happiness, what kind of unlimited joy and ecstasy Srimati Radhika experiences. When Krishna witnesses this, he sees that she is tasting millions of times greater joy than he himself in receiving her praying and all other devotees praying. So Krishna becomes absolutely curious to know this. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has described, Krishna's mind runs after this conception, how it will be possible for him to understand this. So therefore desiring to taste these, uh, to experience and to know these three transcendental uh, characteristics of Srimati Radhika's praying, therefore Sri Krishna himself accepted the mood, the bhav, Tad bhavadya samajani sachi garba sindo harindu. He took her bhav, that means her transcendental golden kanti, her color, uh, and that in, in comprises her complete moods, her, her complete desire to love Krishna is embodied within that beautiful golden color. And Srimati Radhika herself joined together, combined together in one form, and completely covered every single limb of Shyam Sundar Krishna in his dark, uh, beautiful color. And now he became Gaur Sundar, and now he became completely absorbed in the mood of Srimati Radhika. So in that way, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world and manifested his pastimes for the benefit of all, but particularly to taste these three, because he is the Supreme Absolute Truth, he is Raso Vai Saha, he is the embodiment of Rasa, there is nothing beyond his experience. So in order to taste this Ras, he has appeared in this form, and now by meeting uh, Sri Ramananda Roy on the banks of Godavari, and also empowering him uh, to distribute this, these transcendental conceptions and because, as we have heard, Rai Ramananda is none other than the most intimate Saki of Srimati Radhika, Sri Vishaka Devi herself. So now she has come to uh, give, to contribute her conceptions uh, into uh, this transcendental samvad, this conversation. And Rai Ramananda now gave this into the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and by his tasting and hearing this, 
through the medium of Siksha Guru, he was now able to deeply enter within the moods of Srimati Radharani. So that is a brief explanation of this shloka of Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami Kama. But why this slok has been quoted here? What is the need? Oh, something. Here, it has been quoted, this slok, especially for, to show that what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu realized three things. He inspired in the heart of Raya with this thing. And that is why he was able to oh, again mm, repeat. repeat it to Chaitanya for this. So without mercy, anyone cannot know all these things. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sprinkled his mercy unknowingly, not outwardly, but inwardly. This is the thing. In Brihad Bhagavatamrit too, having think, <coughs> his Guru told to go Kumar, Sarup perhaps, he told, he knew all the thoughts, but could not realize. Jana Sarma, Sarma. sent by Chaita, um, Radhika. Then he kept his hands on his head. Everything you should realize. And then at once he realized and he saw that I am going to Guru Vrindavan and in the meantime he reached there and he saw this. So very powerful Sadhushan. But Sadhushan oh, stand also. <coughs> now I have told that how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu crossed the river Godavari and he came to Godavari Ghat, next other Ghat, and he took bath on the Ghat, proper Ghat. And after taking bath, he left that Ghat, but near to Godavari water, he was sitting, he, he sat down, and then he did his anhik. Anhik, you know, what Guru has given months? Did he? Ten times. <coughs> you should always try to follow this. Our Raghunath Das Goswami has also told. Guru Gaste Gostale Susujane Bhujurkane Swamantre Sri Namni So don't fall, no, fail to meditate your mantra. Three times daily. But if you are Grihastha, so many things to do. So if you cannot do in evening, um, Midday, oh, you must do in the morning. And from sannyasi, brahmacharis, those who have left homes, they should do at three times. So, you must do what Guru has given mantra daily with very respectfully and being one pointed. At that time, no uh, upset mind, no in hurry. Be calm and quiet and jump. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. Why you should not do? Then <coughs> it has been told that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself told that I am Mayavati Sanyasi. And someone you know, quoted this that oh he was Mayavati Sanyasi. Because he, was, he has taken sanyas from Mayabadi advised Sanyasi Kesho Bharati, but it is not true. He took Harinam Diksha from Iswar Kuripad, he is his Guru. He is only Sanyas Guru, and even 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that, oh, you are going to give me this mantra and he strictly everything. What mantra was that? Tattva Mahasya. What meaning? Tasya Tom Asya. You are eternal servant of Krishna. This mantra was that. Huh? Yes, Kesav Bharti. He took sannyas in the line of Sankaracharya. Like Mathachai took sannyas in the line of. But they were not Mahabadi. Mahabadi means Nishrishesh Badi. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had uh, cut out all the arguments of Sarvam Bhattacharya. And he used to pay respect to his Gurudev Ishwar Puri Pad. He went to Ishwar Puri Pad birthplace. Took some trust from there. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told, I am my Bhadi Sanyasi. Why? Oh, Tina Dapi Suni Chena Karora Pisari Suni. Or vice versa would be Tina Dapi Suni Karora Pisari Suni. Amanina Manadin. Especially sannyas. Also, all Vaishnavas should be like. Give honor to others. Don't be very far of us. What he is doing? Nonsense or what? Don't criticize. Don't be very far of that. Try to see how much I am getting. I am following Trinadapi Sunit Tarurapi Sahisuna Amani Na Mahina. We should also know Apichet Su Durachar Bhajate Mam Anandabha. Don't be very for that. Otherwise, your life will be spoiled. Constitutional of our religion is. Bhakti. If a Kantiki Bhakti is there and something coming, we should try that and follow it. Don't follow it. Well, always you should know, Kaal is very powerful. But even those who have taken center, uh, center, Saranagati, in the Lord of Street of Krishna, they can walk on the of the head of this eh? time also those who give big he can so we should try to be sanagat and of only one point and any point and helping others also <coughs> now Ramanand is telling that I am Sutra oh I am Sai Sutra why? Oh, again, this thing. Trinadapi Suni Chena. He was actually no Sudra. And Srila Prabhupada has told those who think that he was Sudra. Hmm? Then he is Aparadhi. He will not have that. Haridar Thakur was Mohammedan, Muslim, if they are thinking. Oh, he was not Muslim. By constitutional religion, he was pure Suddha Bhakta Mahabhagavat, Namacharya, giving shelters to Patits. Even group and Sanatan Goswami, they thought that we are Muslims and they took shelter in the third seat of Haridas Thakur. You know. So he was not. Vaishnavas are not Mohammedan Muslims or anything. They are Jagat Guru. So, what they are telling, we should think it that by Tuna Tapishuni, they are telling. So, actually, it is not like that. Then, some dialogue was going on between Raramanand and Mahaprabhu. Raramanand was telling that if you have come 
to what? Reform me. Reform me. Then you should, you are pati from, from there. Being a sannyasi, you touched untouchable me. He told. And then he quoted, Mahan Sobhav E. Taite Pamor, Nijakar Janahatabe Jan Andra. For this, Mahat Bichalanam Mirna, Gininam Dinachi Tasam Nisha Shaya, Bhagavan Nanatha Kalpati. What is the meaning? Once, Krishna and Balram not taken birth. After six months or one year, Vasudev Prabhu in Mathura, in jail, he requested Gargachar, please go in Vrindavan. There, the son of my son and the son of Nanda have taken birth there and now appropriate time and you should give uh, na, you should do Nam Samshita. He went there. In this while, this guys means no one knew. If anyone will knew that Vasudev Maharaj has sent, then counsel at once take some serious steps. So I, if he is not going, moving here and there, he went there. So, Nand Baba is telling him, Mahat Vichalna Mirinam, Krishinam Dina Chetasam Nishesaya Bhagavan Nannata Kalpati. Mahat Vichalna. Mahat. Who is Mahat? Who is Mahat? Or Sanatana Goswami is telling Mahatan Bhagavat Sevai Kanishtha. Bhagavat Sevai Kanishtha Nam or Mahat. Those who have desire to serve Krishna and serving, they are really Mahat. No other. So you are Mahat. You have no other business here. But by chance, you have come here. Why you have come? Oh, two things. Grihinam Dina Chetasam. Myself, Grihina. I am always engaged in household life. In my wife, for children, to look after my homes and all these things. Who is telling? How is this? His son is himself. And he is telling that I am badly engaged in householder affairs. <laughs> and Dina Chetasam. And that is why I am Dini. He is not telling for himself. But for us. As we are always engaged in this. We forget Krishna. We forget Guru, Vaishnava and all of us, and engage all the members. Anyhow, you are somewhat fortunate that you are in good association. Now something realizing. But there are some weaknesses also. Try to drive all these things. <laughs> so, So, it has been quoted though, but has it been quoted for Mahaprabhu or not? Though Raya Ramananda told it, this is slow. Mahaprabhu is Mahapurush or what? He is not Mahapurush only. He is Maha Maha Mahapurush. Hmm? He is Swayam Avatari himself, Krishna. More than Krishna even combined rather than Krishna. So, also a slope 
पहले श्लोक है जिन तोल पाई बार जुदेश्वर भवत दिधा भागवता तित्ति भूता स्वयं प्रभो तित्ति कुर्वंत तित्थानी स्वांतस्थेन गदाप भृता भवत दिधा जुदेश्वर महाराज इस टेलिंग तू बिदुर सम टाइम बिफोर महाभारत बैठो वर्ष फोर he left everything, his position, his prime ministry, and everything. Because his brother Vitras was blind by internally and externally. He was Grihinang Dina Chetasa. Really he was. He wanted, he, he tried so much that he should give up Dujodhan. The, what divorce mm. reject and he should call Pandavas and give proper respect to them but Durjodhan at once came oh you are taking prasadam in what plate and you are holding this patta and then at once he gave up his Crown, his everything, ministry, and he left. And when battle was fought, all that put to date, all Duryodhan and all his brothers, only five part was Krishna, one side, and other side, Asasthama, Kriparchar, but really, no one in that sense. Then he came. He knew also that Krishna has left this world. All his Jadubansi has come. But he did not told all these things. And then Yudhisri Maharaj telling at that time. What will happen? Oh, Vaishnava like you, like you. Bhavadvita, Bhagavata, you are Bhagavata. Tithi Bhuta Sain Prabhu, you are himself Tith of Tith. Because you have kept Gadadhar in your heart. Gadadhar means? Love. No. <laughs> Who has taken Bansi float on his at that very good. So have I you will go and take part, it will be Titha. Now again Tits are very. Oh, all sin sinner person are taking part. How should all be? More Again, like and Krishna sent persons like you, O oh, Vidur. So, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna, we can take him like that. He was also Mahabharat because he had played the role of Mahabharat. Then, something more. Know something, Kirta. When Kirta,